What's up guys, Vish here from NFA Gaming and today we're going to be showing you guys the first Minecraft video that's going to be commentated uh, for our channel. Pretty much what we got here is the new beta 1.5 update that just came out today and we're going to show you guys how to create powered uh, Minecraft rails which will move completely on their own and in future videos we are going to be extending that to a full fledged station that you guys can use. And the great thing about this is that if you guys have ever wanted to make a little railroad system and you're not on a modded server and you don't want to do any of that stuff, you want to play legit how the game was made, uh, you'll definitely be able to do that. So, also you guys might notice right now, you guys see all this rain on the screen, blue things dropping from the air. That's not ink. Um, <laughs> all that is is the rain. That's a new. That's a new. That's a new feature of this update. But um. It's becoming night. We're just going to go ahead and turn that to day. I got you. Uh, yep. And so pretty much John's going to go ahead and explain uh, the inner workings of this. And uh, this is a f this is pretty much a finished product just to show you guys how the actual railroad works. And uh, we're going to replicate it for you right after. So let's get started. All right. So basically in this new update, there were two more rails that were implemented into the regular game. The powered rail here, if fish will look over, and a detector rail there and hopefully that doesn't crash the server. And uh, uh, There's a bug with the detector rails that'll crash servers if you place them a certain way. Right. Um, um, you guys can also notice here that this is the uh, rail that's unpowered and this is the powered state. And, uh, yep. Yeah, you can turn the powered rails on with any form of redstone switch, uh, redstone torch, or button. And these can be used to speed up cards traveling in a direction. Now. I will demonstrate this if Fish and Ryan would be so kind to get off of the track. <laughs> there you go. Like this. Now you notice it stops on the one that had the button because there's no current going to it. And there has to be a current in order to travel over that cart or over that track. Um, there is no way to get a cart to move as of right now that is on an unpowered track. You cannot just send a source to that track to get it to move. The cart has to have direction while moving onto the piece of track in order to continue in that direction. Um, so this is a small track of what it would look like <coughs> with a booster. You would just build a normal track and then replace some of the pieces with the powered track. And I'm going to steal these. <laughs> you have to power those two things, as I previously stated. I have some torches if you need them, John. And, um, switching a torch now. Just to, uh, just to add in that, uh, you guys, obviously, if you're planning on a spawn server, uh, you might just feel like you're inclined to spawn the entire track and make it entirely of that, but... Uh, in reality, it's not gonna make it too much faster because there obviously is some sort of max speed. Yeah. Uh, definitely, you can put you can put more than one next to each other if you want a little boost because you will notice on longer tracks. You uh, for a boost now. You're definitely gonna uh, need yeah, more. I believe that the ideal number is like nine blocks. Um, at the after most. nine blocks, it loses its power. Yeah, so you're gonna want to definitely have it every nine blocks, but that's something to keep in mind. Uh, obviously, if you want a cleaner sort of railway, you you're not gonna want. Uh, everything showing so definitely when we make our railroad uh, model we're gonna display how to how to make a railroad that looks just like a railroad without I'll having the circuitry exactly exactly so you guys can see a basic example uh, he's riding he's riding the uh, the cart there it looks kinda dumb cuz that's just how the game is it kinda looks like you're halfway out of the cart but uh, you saw how, how fast that was and there's only two of these rails and, and John, they're even for, they're even pretty unbalanced yeah uh, and one thing you guys are going to want to know just in general when you're messing around is that if you try making the cart start upon the actual powered rail, it's not going to move. So just keep that in mind uh, when you're playing around with stuff and that you'll know. But as soon as it goes over it, it works. So pretty much what they did with the uh, powered rails was they made them as replacements for boosters. Yeah, it allows for really compact rail systems. Exactly. So if you see uh, with this lever right here, if you switch it to off, Next time he comes back around, he isn't getting a boost there, and he just stops. And That's also one thing wait, to keep... Turn it on. Turn it on. Show him that it won't get me to go. Exactly. He's not going to move because he's already on it. So, for those of you thinking it's going to go like that, but as soon as he starts getting pushed again, 
the circuit uh, completes again. Same thing here if, if we take out the torch. Uh, next time he comes around, there you go, it just stops again. So you just want to make sure that when you're playing around with this stuff, you kind of understand how redstone works. And if you guys want to know more about redstone, uh, if you don't understand it, if you don't know how to use it with, say, every sort of uh, you know way it can be used, just go ahead and leave us a comment, and we can make a video about that. Uh, we're definitely looking to make you know a lot of videos about Minecraft. Yeah, definitely so. sub uh, so stay subscribed for. Uh for more of these uh, tutorial videos, especially yeah, with the uh, fully... Right, we're going to go ahead and uh, we'll interlink all the uh, videos together for this station. So we're going to teach you guys how to make a fully powered station. So you guys want to subscribe, and uh, that way, as soon as we put out the video on your YouTube homepage, uh, as soon as it comes out, you'll see a little link, and you can click it and, you know, get started. Uh, this is really cool. Definitely props to Notch for making this update because it's sweet. And, um... Another thing to stay tuned for is uh, our server trailer. Uh, we've been all been playing on a server recently that we've been working on, and uh, we got some cool stuff. So That's hopefully, we're, hopefully we're gonna get a nice server trailer up. Just show you guys a little idea of what we do in our free time. So if you guys have any questions, leave us a comment. Otherwise, oh, you know, uh, I have one last thing to say that we forgot. Yep. Um, these detector rails can also power uh, the powered rails beside them. Right, these are the so detector heroes right here. One to the one with the square, it'll power the next one and then carry it onward. And what you guys want to understand about these detector rails or what they do is they allow the cart to let's say it's kind of it's kind of like a direction control. If it if it's placed on one side, place it down real quick for me. Here I'm just gonna Right. Alright, so let's say you got let's say you got the detector rail placed here. What it'll do is it'll let carts come in from one direction, but if the detector rail is placed, it won't be able to go back over. So if there's a cart here, it'll go through here, this uh, side. You want to give me a push? Yeah, I got you. Notice the thing is off right now, and then it's on, and then he I want, continue. He went through the cart, but you'll notice when I try pushing him back, it'll it'll reverse him. So get back over here and uh, just place your cart right here. All right, watch out, because it'll... Yeah, got you. Get inside. I'm going to push him, and you'll see it just stops. Uh, pretty much this is good if you're making some sort of mine system um, in inside a mine. I mean, and you don't want any runaway carts. You can just place those every so often, and that way if a cart's going back on that track, it won't go any further. So um, definitely we're going to try and give you guys a good look at all these new, you know, new pieces and teach you how to use them in a real-life server, and, you know, that way you guys can get the most out of them. And we know, you know, you're probably searching for this video, uh, and definitely this should help you out because when we started making this, there's nothing available. We just kind of spent some time figuring it out. As you guys can see, we got some loose trash, loose track over there. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so definitely, guys, uh, get subscribed, and we'll link to the video as soon as possible. Uh, we're going to work on it. Up right as we end. Yeah, definitely. Hope that rain didn't take away from too much, but uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. So, for now, take care.